Hello again. It's been about seven days since we closed the lead and the wine should be ready for the next phase. But before we continue, I shall go back to something we did before. Let's first look at the packaging because we have some leftovers here in case you bought similar packaging. I'm just gonna show you that we didn't use the regular yeast because we had the super yeast, this regular yeast, it only burns about five kilos of sugar and it takes about three weeks to do so. So in my opinion, not a good idea to use this one. This regular yeast, it also requires nutritional salt, which is here. No need for that one in our case. And one last thing is super clearing for the regular yeast. It's much more than much more than what we used. Instruction manual. I did read it occasionally. And we also used this meter to measure the sugar concentration after adding the sugar and after the yeast had burned the sugar. The packaging of this device contains instructions how to use these numbers to get alcohol percentage. Uh, you do it so that you take the bigger number and subtract the smaller number from it. In our case it was 110 and minus 10 and when you do the subtraction you, you're left with 120. After you divide this number by 7.5 which gives us 16 percentage alcohol. Because our sugar, sugar concentrations were far end of this scale, I'm not expecting this number to be perfectly accurate. We did, uh, we did add quite a bit of sugar, 8 kilos. I'm expecting the real alcohol percentage to be between 16 and half and 17 percentage. But that's of course not what matters. What matters in the end is how good it tastes. Now we will continue preparing the wine and if the last part required the most amount of labor, this part will require the most amount of fineness. What I mean by fineness is that now all the yeast, preferably all the yeast, is at the bottom of the barrel and if I shake the barrel too much it might get back to the wine which is the very opposite we have been hoping for this past week. So what I have to do now is that I carefully lift the barrel up to that table. What I should have done is to lift that barrel high ground already right after adding the super clearing. That way I wouldn't have to take the risk of shaking the barrel right now. But what is done is done, I just have to deal with it now. really carefully I think we managed to get it there without shaking too much next thing we want to do is to repeat some of the same steps as we did last time we want to get the clean portion of the wine to the buckets and always remember to sanitize everything you put wine into. Then we rinse our barrel and put our wine back to the barrel so that only thing we have left is pure clean wine. It's now time for the most crucial step 
of our winemaking. The challenge here is that we don't want to shake the wine or the barrel or distract the yeast at the bottom in any ways. I'm just gonna hope this goes well. You're going to see it no matter what happens. So first thing to do, of course, is to take off the water lock and take off the lid. Now you just have to do this very carefully because we do not want to shake our wine. It smells so good. I don't smell any of that carbon dioxide anymore. I do smell a bit of alcohol, which was expectable, which was expected. And now you need to make this happen at one go, because if you allow the wine to fall fall back to the bar barrel from the tube, it's going to shake the yeast at the bottom and your wine is not going to be equally clean. So do it in one go and make sure that you only lower this tube to the wine as much as you need to. First you take the very surface and as the level of the wine goes down you will increase the length of the tube. Okay, I, I, I'll just... I'll just do it now. So this end to the wine, not very deep, and then we just suck from the other end as we did before. That went well, I got it in one go. Wine is pouring away have not shaked the barrel. Just keep the wine, wine barrel end of the tube just below the surface. I can, I can see from, from the tube how clear it is. It's completely transparent, a little bit red, Fine red wine. Now I'm gonna close the other end of the tube with plastic closing thing and switch to another barrel. And we will now switch to the last barrel. I'm not even gonna close close the end of the tube because it might disturb the wine at the other end. So I'm just gonna quickly lift this to the other to the last barrel like this. As soon as you see the yeast at the bottom, you can stop. We don't want any of that yeast to our buckets. We are going to lose a little bit of this wine, but that's okay. We only want the fine portion. Because the, the wine is clear, if there is if any yeast begins to come through the tube, you will instantly know this. It will get darker and you should instantly stop. Okay, I can see the yeast now. Now it's especially crucial that you don't shake the barrel at all. Yes, I can, I can see the yeast floating there. And now I'm gonna stop. Yeah, I, I will show you, show you the yeast, how it, how it wakes up when you when you disturb the bottom like here I'm not sure if this camera camera shows it that well but the yeast is now mixed to the final bits of the wine well at least you can see it now 
So this is the portion we unfortunately cannot use. So we will just throw it away. And what we have left in our buckets is clean, fine wine, which is not yet the final product, but it's getting very close. So what I'm now gonna do, I, I just rinse this barrel carefully and then put our wine back to the barrel. It appears the camera is incapable of focusing for some reason, but that's okay. Our barrel is now clean. We shall just pour our wine back to the barrel and everything went as planned. Yes, it's it's completely transparent. I can I can see it when I pour the wine. It's beautiful. It really is. Can't wait to get an actual official taste from an actual wine glass. Oh yes, it's beautiful. And now we we don't really have to care about shaking the barrel anymore because we have supposedly get most of the yeast out from it and next we are going to let the wine rest for a couple of days. It might be that we will still get a little bit more yeast out from it and when we bottle the wine we will get even cleaner, purer product. Truly fine, delicious red wine. So let us continue in a couple of days. Bye.